You you can start. Hi, it's Pat. And Carolyn. Woo! Carol's back. Looking a little rough. Clearly, I didn't prep, prep, prep myself. It's all right. Carol has been gone for the whole top model time because she had surgery on her hip. I know. It might look like I had surgery on my face, but the truth <laughs> is I had it on my hip. Yeah, She's I'm so back. excited to be back. And you, I have a little confession. I have not been watching Top Model. Now, that blasphemy after 15 seasons, but here's the thing. It gave me a bright new perspective to bring to you fine folks tonight. And let me say, I am very glad that you were back watching Top Model with me because it was nice to have someone to say mean things at the <laughs> TV too. And it was also really interesting to hear your fresh take on everybody. I know. Here's what I learned from Carolyn. She loves Jane. She thinks Jane is the best person ever. She thinks Anne looks like uh, the ring, I think is what you said. And who else? Uh, Casey looked like a drug dealer. Oh, no, no, Kayla, uh, Kayla. no, what's her name? Blondie, Blonde McCanderson. Chelsea. Chelsea looks like Anna Paquin. Yes. Which you'd she think does. would make me love her because I love Anna Paquin, but... No. Not too much. So, tell us about this episode. Alright, so cool episode. Started out with a uh, Walmart challenge, which y'all know I've been in the South, so I love me Lots some Walmart. Lots of Walmarts down there. Cover Girl City. I thought it was kind of interesting. What they did is they had them split up into three groups, and they had to present this makeup to a group of people. A little demo about the makeup. Mmm, whatever. Then they were secretly judged. Casey was the winner. It wasn't that exciting. No, it wasn't. She Poor did do Anne. the best job, though. Casey did deserve to win. Poor Anne did act like the ring in this episode, though, because <laughs> she just sits there, like. But but this is a, this is high fashion, and no offense, but in high fashion, you just you're sit doing there. cover girl commercials, really? No. So then they did a photo shoot, and who was their photographer? His name is Patrick de Marshmallow. <laughs> no, his Marshall. Marshall. We call him de Marshmallow. De Marshmallow. De Marshmallow. Was Mr. De Marshmallow. They did a photo shoot on Rodeo Drive, or did Kendall say Rodeo Drive? I'm pretty sure pretty she sure did. Pretty sure she did. Um, they did a photo shoot where they were walking down the street with a male model. They were paired up, and then they each did an individual shot where they were sort of like running and looking back, and Tyra came out of a minivan and showed them how to do it right. Patrick loves that part. It was for like <gasps> one second, and he just like I like. I just like when part. Tyra kicks it in to model gear and shows them, no, this Tyra, is how you do it. <gasps> listen. Tyra is pretty beautiful. Yes. Obviously. Here's the thing that I liked about... I keep saying here's the thing, but here's okay. the thing. Tell them the thing. Th this photo shoot looked like an Italian Vogue photo shoot. Like a real photo shoot. Yeah. And and just the way that they looked, their clothes, they were in normal clothes. They were wearing Halston and clothes. I mean, they were wearing a normal... Not normal to me or you, really. Normal to the fashion normal, world. Yeah. And yeah. I think it gave you some legitimacy. I and, agree. Hmm, so. let's, let's talk about their pairings. Okay. Uh, let's talk about... Chelsea, oh, dang, okay. Sorry, Chelsea and Anne were paired up together. What did you think of their shots? I don't even remember who Chelsea is. Okay, so she's out, forgettable. Uh, Anne, she, she's good. She may look like the ring in person, but on camera, you she. You just wait till we get to panel. She, I have something to say. She's pretty damn good. Yeah, but her running shot looked like she was hanging from wires. Like she was, her legs were gonna go. Ooh, yeah, she's but fly it was good. Away, and they loved it. She cho she sold those Chuck Taylors. Turn out this little brightness. They're called Converses, aren't they? Aren't they called Chuck Taylors? That's but what they're called. They're, I think. They were from Taylors. Anyway, they was fine. Next up was I don't know if this Jane is and Casey. Jane and Casey. I don't remember who Casey remembering. is. Casey looked like a snob. Oh yeah, Casey. Yeah. <laughs> Jane, listen, Jane, you and I. We're lovers because she is, she looks like a model, she acts like a model, she just stands there and probably has no makeup on, and she looks like a famous supermodel. Yes, and I'm so glad that she finally got some credit yeah. this week for just being amazing because she's been in the middle or towards the bottom every week, and she is the most like a model. She's beautiful. She yes. doesn't have that much of a personality. No. Who cares? Just stand there and look beautiful. Exactly. You're a model. Thank you. Kendall and Liz. Let's talk about them. Kendall, I have to refresh Oh, her no, I know who Kendall is. Yes. She's really good. She had on is that she? white fluffy jacket. Yes. I think she's really good. I think, as Tyra would say, she is model the noun, not model the verb. She did awesome this week, mm. though, but she's a little <laughs> boring. Sweet. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I actually thought she was fine. I thought that, um, what was the other one? Liz. Li Liz is a jokester. What is she doing on there? She reminds me of, like, a screwed up Jade and, like, oh, Lisa and the other one. She's, like, all Toad, those Toad's other ones. the other one. 
She's a little boring, and, and she her needs hair to, like, is terrible. I, I will say though, I kind of liked her like masculine shoot. I like that they styled her a little masculine. She doesn't even. She does hair. not even look that masculine to me. I think her hair is just looks stupid. On to the next. Welcome back, people. Carol. Oh, who did we skip somebody? Yeah, we skipped Kayla and Esther. Kayla and Esther the molester. Who, who looked, is Kayla? I would let her molest me because she looked beautiful. <gasps> terrible. She did. Kayla has red hair. Uh, oh gosh, let's talk about it. Esther is beautiful. I'm also glad that Esther did so well, because she was another one, kind of like Jane, who they never talked about. She is beautiful. Yes. Kayla? Okay, here's the thing. But Tara, just so you know, Kayla is like the fan favorite. Oh, it doesn't even, I don't care if the no, fans I'm just, like No, I'm that. just telling you. No, you Thank say you. what you want to say. Here's the thing. I actually really like her, and I, I would have said the truth, if I, even if I knew you guys hated her or loved her. They gave her a terrible outfit. They gave her a pretty woman hooker hat, and then they're going to... I'm sorry. Like, that very is exactly accurate. what it is. Very and accurate. And they're gonna bitch. We'll, we'll bleep it. Bleep. They're gonna <laughs> complain that she looked bad because of her outfit. Y'all picked the outfit. Y'all did. Y'all picked wrong. I'm bringing my southernness back. Get out of here. I'm gonna go to Rodeo Drive. No, I thought drive. she looks. I'm so glad we haven't even talked about this shit. But I'm so glad she gets another chance because she deserves yes. it. Because she's good. And quickly, <coughs> last was Chris. She got to go by herself. She looked so pretty and cute. Uh, she did. She, she really did. She's a little teen. Good bugger. job. So go panel. Ahead. Time for panel. And then they had panel. The, <laughs> what? Okay. I don't care what the judges said. Okay. People were good and people were bad. First call out. I thought, no way, another week in a row is it going to be Anne. Her pictures weren't even that good. No, they were good. You guys, Anne got called out again first. This is Couldn't they just throw a bone robbery. to Jane? Right? Thank you. Really? Again? Really? Yeah. Like, what is going to happen on this show? And we're like halfway through, and she got called first every time. I did not get it. Jane and got she called got the second, worst. she was robbed. She was the worst in the challenge. I don't, yeah, Whatever. no. Jane was mm -mm. second. Weird favoritism. Okay, final two, we came down to Kayla, Kayla and, Casey. and Casey. And I knew that Kayla wasn't going to go home, because Tyra likes her. But I she like did not too. do good this week, but it wasn't her fault. You think I look like Anne right now? I'm feeling like Anne or Esther with this weirdo hair dye. Molester. <laughs> okay, Casey went home. Deserved. She, I, she, I kind of liked her this episode a little bit, but she, I don't like she her. She wasn't so complaining. No. Good. Okay. Great. I'm so glad to be back. I promise to put on my face better next uh, time. It's all right. Well, you got to get back into the groove of things. Well, so if you guys, if you didn't see the pictures, yep. uh, you can look at them by going to uh, blogaboutthings.com or clicking the link down here in the basement and you can look at all of them and let us know. What you think about Jane not getting first call out? Because I hope that you agree with me. He's been doing this alone for a while. I can. It's tell. nice to have someone to talk to, <laughs> you guys. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go Esther the molester her. We'll Esther see you later. Esther the molester. Bye. Bye. Look at my French manicure. <laughs>